This is a $200 check I received from the city of Laporte, Texas. In just a minute, I'll tell you about the significance of that. But first, I want to do an addition to the video I did yesterday about their year and a half long open records games. I was so distracted, I missed some of the most important parts of their little whiny letter that they wrote. Uh, so to recap, the Attorney General uh, wrote a letter. They told them things like they couldn't charge more than $40, $40 limit. Uh, well, this is the city's letter. Uh, they couldn't charge more than $40 for things that they had already completed. Uh, they could not uh, charge 10 cents per PDF for an electronic documents fee, just simply not a charge that exists in Texas. So the first thing I'd like to draw your attention to is we see here, um, they're complaining about key terms. The key terms aren't even applicable. Um, but they say it is still possible that a process for even a single conver conversion on a, key t on a key term, see this doesn't even make sense. It's hard for me to even read because it doesn't make logical sense to me. It is still possible that a process for even a Single conversion on a key term could take three hours or more, exceeding the $40 limit without being very reliable. We'd appreciate recommendations on how to handle situations like these without putting the city at risk of even lesser charges. As the majority of public information request expenses are unfortunately overwhelmingly borne by our local taxpayers due to the Office of the Attorney General and statutory limitations on charges. Now, this doesn't show contempt of the public. I don't know how else to show you the minds of the government welfare recipients who seize all of our money to sit around and be lazy all day. Now, First, I'd also note that I am a local taxpayer. I'm not a Laporte resident, but I am a local taxpayer. But that's frankly irrelevant here. There are laws and there are rules in the administrative code that the city has to follow. And you can hear they're complaining about how they're limited. See, if there was not a constitution, they would shut us up and shut us down. If there were not laws about public information, they would simply not provide it, overcharge it, you name it. They're tyrants, they're horrible, and if it were not for these limitations, that it would just be horrible. It would be total totalitarianism, which frankly, we're almost there. We're certainly very authoritarian in the municipal and local government uh, level of Texas. But this is just crazy to me. Uh, we would be putting the city at risk of even lesser charges. And, um, you know, unfortunately, we have these laws, these laws that we have to follow. Now, when I do my video about my complaint, and the complaint is in the description below if you want to get a jump, uh, head start on it. Well, when you pull up the data on who actually pays on public information, they don't have a lot of people paying for public information so uh you know this is just a non-issue but whatever they can cry about and then it gets even more interesting so again the attorney general reminded them that they can only charge forty dollars for work already completed they say on this request they would like to charge fifty four dollars even though the attorney general told them they couldn't do that but they they still want to do it anyways but they write they go as 2021-146 exceeds the $40 limit for notification, the city will not object if the requester chooses to pay that amount for this particular request. So there you go. If I decide that the city should just follow the law instead of being government criminals and doing whatever they want, they won't object. They won't object if I make them simply follow the law. And you know, but they're still not following the law because they haven't given me the estimate yet. They just have this whiny thing. And even on their whiny thing, they're, they're so stubborn and used to walking all over everyone, harassing everyone, going after people they don't like, going after their political opponents, and never being held accountable because the DAs don't do squat. The DAs in Texas are a big part of the problem. And the attorney general tells them to do something that can't go over 40. They're like, no, we want to do 54. So what do you do in this situation when the people are like that? So 
These are the open records issues. And again, this has been going on. This request has been open for a year and a half now. Now, I told you, $200 check. What is this? This is a bond refund I got for David Warden's bond. I paid three $200 bonds in March of 2021. One was for uh, David Warden, who fought his charges, and they were dismissed. And so we won. Well, did we win? Well, I was still without $200 for well over a year. They had to go through being put in jail. And by the way, I will have a video tomorrow that shows how to bond someone out of jail. But this video is going to be something you probably haven't seen before because it's going to show what happens on my side out of jail and what happens on their side in jail. Yes, we have uh, the video from what happened on the other side. You know, cell phones, hidden cameras, they're a great thing. Uh, so it's great so we can bring to YouTube the video of what happens inside of the jail uh, where they, you know, try very hard to not allow people to see what's going on. So $200 for David, $200 for another person. Who was that? Uh, some other dude who was with them, and he stuck with David, and he also got his dismissed, so that was good. And then Patrick Roth, $200, but Patrick just took the conviction and uh, had it apply. They used my bond uh, to pay his fine. I, he eventually did send me $200 via Cash App after a big little hustle there. But so two of them, charges dismissed, and another YouTube Facebooker person uh, took the conviction. Because why fight for your rights when you're making, you know, windfall, I don't know, a million plus dollars a year off of other people's content. So that was what the $200 is for. And what does this really mean? This really means that the government, the police violated rights. Uh, because they should have never been arrested in the first place. Uh, but you have these police officers who do not face real accountability in many circumstances, and they do whatever they want. Now I'll move on to a phone call, and if you don't have an audio recorder, you definitely need an audio recorder. I really like the Olympus, Olympus lines. Uh, this one is the WS-822, and it can record internally and also on an SD card. I recommend the ones that can record on an SD card. So if your audio recorder gets ruined or whatever, bricked, you don't lose your audio files that are on there. You know that one through personal experience. So uh, record phone calls. Don't have a phone call with the government or an, a phone call regarding activism or politics that's not recorded. Here is a phone call I had with Haley of the city of Port. She thinks, apparently, she thinks that cities violating the law is freaking hilarious. Uh, so here I'll leave you with that. And oh, also uh, the email I wrote the city manager I'll put on screen. Uh, he did finally, like a few weeks ago, call me back. Actually, the Friday when I was in Fort Bend County Court, I guess he saw that we were live up there. He's like, ha, 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 I'll call Justin when I know he can't answer. Uh, and then I promptly got back to him and he won't, you know, can't reach him. He won't call me. So I've been wanting to talk. And I, hey, if you're a government administrator, if you want to talk, I am down for talking. Y'all are the scared people who run and hide. Uh, so yeah, what do y'all think about this? If y'all have anything constructive that you find out from Laporte, if y'all get any information, whatever they tell you, you know, please let me know in the comments. I'm really interested in how they're treating people. I'll leave you with this phone call. City manager's office. How can I help you? Hi, Haley. This is Justin Pulliam, and I'm trying to figure out something regarding a uh, complaint that I filed with the Attorney General of the state of Texas. And I was wondering if the city administration wanted to comply with the order from the state or if I should complain again. Okay. Um, so let me get a little more information from you. So you filed a complaint with the Texas Adjour Attorney General. That's right. I won, y'all lost, and y'all didn't comply yet. Okay. I normally win, so y'all should probably just listen. Okay, let me put you on hold one second then, and let me see if I was on hold. the city manager is available. Yes, okay. so let me just see if the city manager is available. Okay, yeah, that'd be great. I never okay. heard back from him either. All right, one second. It's not very funny. I am so sorry. I'm not making light of the situation. I'm just... Thank you, Haley. One second. All right. One second.
Yes, ma'am. All right. So the city manager is in a meeting right now. So I'm going to transfer you over to his voicemail. And if you'll leave him a message. Oh, you know, Haley, the thing is, uh, city administrators are always in a meeting when I call. It's like all they ever do. Amazing. So I don't really have any time left because I have to mail into the attorney general because there's time limits on me. So if the city has no interest in doing what the state told them to do, I'll just tell the state that the city's not doing what they're supposed to do. I mean, if no one wants to deal with this, then that's what I have left. I mean, I don't know what y'all don't understand. Y'all are the ones totally at in the wrong right now. So, like, there comes a point where you can't always... Confirm any of that for you. I'm more than happy to, though, send you over to the city manager. I, like I don't... I'm not leaving a voicemail. I, I'm calling to resolve this informally. If we can't, I'm not off to complain. Look, you can't... You know, at some point, you can't use the meeting excuse. This is something that's been going on for a year and a half. The city's had a year and a half to deal with this, and if the city doesn't want to do it, I will tell the state, and I will tell the district attorney... All right. Um, you know, I'm not. I'm not letting you know either way. You know, I'm just letting you know that Mr. Alexander's not available, and that's unfortunately the only option I can. Option I can when, when will he be available? How long will I have to wait on hold for him to become available and out of his meeting? I'm not sure. He's in a, he's just in a meeting right now with some city staff members. So with some staff members, that's great. We can put on speakerphone and talk to all of them. Well, I can tra- I can send you over to him. And- Wait, hold on. Wait, which staff? Wait, what's the subject of the meeting, and which staffers? I'm not in a place to discuss that. Well, I'm gonna, I'll do an open records request then for the Outlook calendar if I need to, or you could just tell me. Sir, unfortunately, I've already told you what I can do right now, and that's to send you over to Mr. Alexander. If who, you don't want who, to send you over to his voice, who is available to talk right now? Mr. Alexander is in the is in the office, but he's in a meeting, so he's the only one here. He can let you know. Um, so no other city administrators are are there today. No, it's just him. Okay. How about the city secretary? Is she at work today? She is not in today. Okay. Well, that's a good start. Is her office open today? It is open. But she's not there. But other people should be in the city secretary's office. Okay, could you find someone there who can take my call? I am more than happy to transfer you over. I don't want to be transferred. I need to talk to someone or else I'm going to have to do the steps I just described to you. The time's up. No more time. I understand, sir. So all I can do right now is just transfer you over to them. There's nothing else I can do. Well, I can't you call them up and get them on the line or walk over there and get them on the line. So... That would still require me to transfer you over to their phone. Right, but with them actually answering, like, not at, let's join in, like, a three-way. That'd be better. That way I know they're there. No, because I get I'm dumped to voicemails. I'm only either going to transfer you over to the city secretary's office or over to Mr. Alexander. So you can leave him the voicemail. Those are the only options. Okay, but when, how long, what if I just wait for him to get done with this meeting? How long will that take? I am not sure. Okay, so can... I just wait on hold till he gets done or something? You are welcome to. I am not sure when it's going to end, though. Oh. Uh, um, okay, so uh, let me just get this straight. There's only one person who can deal with city business right now, and he's in a meeting with other people who work for the city, and that's where we're at? Yes, sir. Interesting. Um, well, I guess, how about when he's done, could you have him call me back? I can transfer you over to his voicemail, and you can leave him a message, and he can call you back when he gets a moment. Haley, what's your position? I am the administrative assistant. Okay, and you can't have him call me when he's done with the so-called meeting? I am more than happy to, then. I will just let him, I will take your name and number, and I will let him know to give you a call when he has a chance. Yeah, I thought you already had my name, but it's Justin Pulliam, um, because this is how it normally goes, right? They're only in a meeting until then they know my name, then they're in the meeting. Uh, this happen, It happens multiple times a day. It's not just they're in the port. So 
Uh, it's nothing, you know, I, I do take it personally, actually, because if people would just talk to me, things go better. Uh, my number is nine. All right, perfect. I will pass it along. And, and please relay that if he's always in a meeting and cannot return my call, how I will escalate it to the state and the district attorney. And since the attorney general has already instructed the city what to do, you know, I, I you know, I would, ooh, I wouldn't want to be the city in that case. So I appreciate you conveying that message, Haley, and have a great weekend. Yes, sir. You as well. All right. Thanks. Bye. Bye.